Good morning. I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry. And I'm so pleased to be with you today again on this ministry. And it warms my heart to know that you have an interest in reading God's Word and drawing close to Him today. In our Bible time, we're in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, and I'm going to read two verses this morning, verse 13 and 14, and this is about being obedient children. Yes, we're to be obedient children. When you were saved, and Jesus became your Lord and Savior. He became your Savior when he forgave you for your sins, washed you clean, white as snow, and forgave you because he was a sacrifice on the cross for your sins. That you could be forgiven and have eternal life forever and ever. He is your Savior. And he also is now the Lord of your life. We're to give ourselves as a living sacrifice to God Almighty. A living sacrifice. Our hands and our feet, our hearts and our minds. We're to give this to Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And I want to talk to you this morning about being obedient children. Let's read this scripture. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fastening yourselves according to the formal lust in your ignorance. Let me tell you, being obedient children, we have to get control of our minds. We have to allow Jesus to take control of our minds. Pray about these things that come into your mind that you don't like. That the Lord would erase those and keep those things from coming into your mind and your thoughts. Think upon the things of God. I want to tell you a way in which I do this. I read God's holy scriptures. I meditate on the holy scriptures and I allow the Holy Spirit to teach me and reveal things to me through my meditation and desire in my heart to put the Word of God in my mind. And in doing that, I found that my mind stays more focused on the Word of God. My mind is, I can, I can control my mind about the kind of thoughts that I have. They're godly thoughts. I think about God's love for me and for others. I think about my faith in Jesus Christ and that how much that I believe that he died on that cross. I can just see him on that cross suffering for me, being a sacrifice for my sins. And I meditate on that and I think about that. And I have faith in Jesus that he did that for me that I could be washed and cleaned and be now white as snow as a brother in the family of God, as a brother in the church of God, a part of his body, and Christ being the head of the church, and both of them being one. These are the things that I meditate on, mostly my faith and my love for others. Let that be a good starting point for you as you gird your minds up and you think about and prepare your mind for the things of God. Also, think about the things for godly action. Think about the, the way in which you would present the gospel to people. Practice in your mind. Think about where God would want you to go to meet somebody out in this world that could use and needs help in their life, and that you could pre prepare your mind to present the gospel to them. Praise God that He can control your mind. Just turn your mind and your body over to Him and allow Him to be the Lord of your life. Verse 13 says, be sober. This is talking about 
Clearly think about God all the time. Pray to Him to start your day. Pray to Him during the day. Pray to Him explaining how your day went. Keep a clear and continuous line of communication with God. Be sober in your thoughts and that the, the one and only living God is a part of these thoughts. And be clear and honest with God all the day long. Always having the hope of the end for the grace. We experience grace every day. A divine power, a divine favor of grace in our lives. And that we deserve death because we're sinners. But God bestowed his grace upon us and pronounced us as being one of his children and, and, and gave us grace. And it's this hope that we have from day to day to day in our life. It's this hope of grace and that we've not, um, we've not received all of God's grace. Grace, we continue to hope for it. Hope for something we've not uh, completely achieved. And we continuously hope and experience God's grace all the way to the end uh, for this grace. A day when Jesus Christ will reveal himself to us. And we will be a part of the resurrection of Christ. And that yes, you brother and you sister will actually experience a bodily resurrection yourself just like Jesus did. And on that day, we will be glorified into a new body. And we will be reunited with Jesus Christ forever and ever. And there will be no more need for grace. Because there will be no more, <clears throat> there will be no more sin in our life. There will be no more uh, presence of sin in our life. Only the presence of Jesus and his glory. Praise God, on the day of the end of our grace, we'll be with Jesus in the presence of our Lord and Savior. So, the scripture tells us now to be and live now as obedient children, not, <clears throat> not looking upon, not uh, meditating on the things of our former lives, the things that we concentrated on before we were saved. But now think upon the godly things. The good things. That Jesus is bringing into our heart and soul and mind. And meditate on our faith day and day. And live in an attitude of faith. In that we surrender ourselves to Jesus. And make him the Lord of our life. And let him guide our steps in our lives. And part of that is to show love towards other people out into the world. Plan your day and how you can show the love of Jesus Christ out into the world. Maybe it's even participating in our community outreach next week. Next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, December the 6th, 7th, and 8th. You can show the love of Jesus Christ out into the world by telling somebody what they must do to be saved. And that's to believe in Jesus Christ and they can be saved. Praise God. Meditate on this. Prepare yourself and your mind in how you can do community outreach in your neighborhood next week. Praise God for this ministry. And I encourage you to participate. Praise God. Let's go ahead and go into our prayer time today. We've got a number of prayer requests. Our first prayer request is that you participate in community outreach next week. And I'd also like to pray for these. Ronnie Hicks, pray for him and his health and business struggles. Eddie Kirk, pray for him, his daughter Ashlyn, and Pastor David Peeler. Ann Coleman, Pray for her and her husband. And uh, her husband has cancer and they're trying 
to make it to Kit Christmas. Kay Yarborough, pray for her. Steve Black, let's pray for him. Ashley Silvers, let's pray for her and she asked prayer for the lost. Jolene Pascoe, let's pray for her, her husband and son for permanent jobs. Linda Chastain, let's pray for her. She asked prayer for all the lost and backsliders to find and know peace and joy in their life. Teresa Oaks, let's pray for her, praying for the homeless shelter. Amber Walls, let's pray for her. She has prayer for healing for the Davis family and <clears throat> that she would continue to be blessed with car detail work. Grady Collins, let's pray for him and his family as his brother passed away. April Zane, let's pray for her and Mike, and they're looking for a new home, and they pray for God's guidance and blessing. Trish Brown, let's pray for her and her babies, and she's uh, praying for a good Christmas, and most of all, praying that they know the love of Jesus Christ. Jeff Clements, let's pray for him and his family. Desiree November, let's pray for her, and she has prayer for contentment and a quiet spirit this year as the, as the year ends. She has, has a praise report for her daughter that got married, and uh, everyone was blessed, and she says all the glory goes to Jesus Christ. David Cordell, let's pray for him. Kim Hedrick, let's pray for her. Kenneth Walraven, let's pray for him, his unspoken request. Kim Markham, let's pray for her, and she has prayer for our nation. Sean Creamer, let's pray for them, and he has prayer, a special prayer for a special service they have on December the 16th, and then we want to thank him for all of his prayers. Michael Bagley, Let's pray for him, and he has prayer for our country. Jim Banks, let's pray for him. Cecil Conway, let's pray for him. He has prayer for his son, Jesse, who had surgery on skin for some skin cancer and is at the doctor today. Ashley Nathanson, let's pray for her. Diana Bangungu, let's pray for her. And she has prayer for her family and life. Bethany Walls, let's pray for her. And she has prayer for the people that's affected by the fires in Tennessee. Reeves Hardware, let's pray for them. And they ask prayer for their family. Lopez Sedic, let's pray for him. And he has prayer. Uh, <clears throat> to come to know Jesus more and more to the glory of God. Amen. Now you lift up your prayer request today. We want you to pray with us and for these prayer requests and give us an opportunity to pray for you as well. Let's go to Jesus in prayer. Dear Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, we lift up the prayer request of the viewers watching this video, God. Lord, you know their needs and their prayer requests and situations and their deliverances and healings. And God, we lift those all up to you and we pray for these that are lifting up these requests to you, along with the prayer requests that we've made mention of this morning. All of these things we bring before you in faith and our love for you. And God, we pray for the lost, the people that are not saved, have never professed you, as their Lord and their Savior. And we pray, God, that this might be the day that they get down on their knees and they cry out to you and admit that they're a sinner and they need forgiveness. But most of all, God, we pray that they would pray that they believe on you as the Son of God, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Amen. Thank you for being with us today. And remember, community outreach. Let's go out into our own communities next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and focus on these days to share the gospel, to invite people to watch the preaching messages for each day. Thank you so much. God bless you, and he will. Thank you.